what the fuck are the odds? Like, is this even real right now? Is this even happening? Okay, so Sunday rolls around. Like I said, didn't end up going home. My sister didn't end up going home either. Saturday, she had asked me if I wanted to go with her to this hotel rooftop bar restaurant. Again, happens to be in the same city of <laughs> the same city as the bar, the same city where he lives. We both really love this city. It's a beach city. We like to go there together. But like, it just so happened that one of her friends, it was his birthday, a huge group of her friends was going to be there. And she wanted me to go with her for like brunch, even though it was like 2 p.m. I was like, yes, down, like Easter brunch. So down for that. All of her friends are like foreign because like my sister likes to go out or she used to like to go out and like dance by herself to house music at like random underground like warehouses and like stuff like that. Just like dance by herself. She met this girl there through meeting the girl there who was also by herself dancing alone she met like a huge like network of people that are pretty much they're all foreign they all moved here like, within the last five years because of like work or whatever they were doing like probably work and they're all super artistic super cool it was honestly just like the coolest group of people ever so anyway we go to brunch of course i didn't know anyone there but like i ended up meeting everyone and she's like i'll get the first drink you get the second drinks we both order champagne and then we were outside right like we have this whole like lounge area it was like couch and like we had the whole corner reserved right the waitress actually brings over orange juice and a different kind of champagne because they had ordered like mimosas for the whole table right all that to say i had a glass of champagne which was very small and then i had like half of a mimosa so like really nothing wasn't feeling anything right we're there for probably like an hour or two i don't know i'm skipping through stuff but we then decide to order like mixed drinks because they had really good mixed drinks super expensive they were like 17 dollars each for like a cup like this big so we order these expensive drinks also like side no, I posted one of the drinks, the one that my sister got was called My Little Pony. And so I like posted a little like boomerang of it on my Instagram story because I liked the name of it. I don't know. So many people were replying and being like, oh my God, $17 for a drink. What the fuck? That's crazy. And like, yeah, it is crazy. But there's this one guy who replies and he's like, what's your PayPal? Let me reimburse you. And I'm like, the fuck? Reimburse me. This isn't a business expense. <laughs> I give him my PayPal. Sure enough, I get sent $17 from this guy. And then like the next message he sent me was like, what shoes are you wearing today? So I was like, okay we're gonna stop but like thank you sir also not related but like what is my life all the while oh my god i forgot about this okay this other guy this other guy who's not stewie we're gonna call him william we have like a kind of a past history not root i mean yeah we've like hooked up and stuff and we've known each other for like a year probably but like he didn't live in la so i would only see him like when he visited and then he recently moved here he was just gone for like a month out of state and so he comes back like a couple days before this right and so like we're trying to make plans to meet up and we had talked about maybe meeting up on sunday so i end up texting him this probably happened before i ordered the drinks but it's not really important ask him like where he's at what he's doing and he tells me that he's actually in downtown which is kind of convenient because this is where he lives this is downtown this is where i am right now at the beach with my sister and all them and then like this is where i live so we're like this far apart and he's here and i'm here so we're closer right okay we're kind of making plans and i'm like well you can come here when you're done with lunch so just keep that in mind like i'm texting uh william so we order the drinks right these two guys come and they're part of the friend group they walk up to where we all are and they say hey to the boy birthday boy and then they walk over end up sitting like at the same or like on this sectional type thing outdoor sofa and my sister and i are here and they end up sitting like on the other side of the sectional my sister knows them right because she knows most of the people that are there there's a few people that she doesn't know but she knows most of the people that are there and so she's like dude like what's up what is that lady gaga song oh alejandro we're gonna name him alejandro it's such a fucking like long named she's like dude like what's up alejandro and the other guy's not important so he doesn't need a name but alejandro and friend she knows both of them and then my sister's like let me introduce you to my sister alejandro and i turn around this is my sis and he's like Elise. and i'm like do i know you i don't say this but in my head i'm like fuck 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 do i know this guy do i know this guy do i know this guy no definitely don't know this guy and i'm like yeah Hi. He looks like his mind has been just like blown into like 5,000 pieces. I don't know how he did not put this together. Maybe he's not on Instagram that much and so that's why. Because I've posted with my sister like multiple times on my story and, and also like same last name. But like I get it. Apparently he's been following me for like quite a while, like two or three years. And he's like, oh my gosh, I've been following you. Like I love reading your captions. Just thought you were so beautiful and strong and blah, blah, blah. My sister is like, whoa, that's so fucking crazy. But like not really 
because a couple of my other friends follow you too before they knew that we were sisters. But they usually always put it together, right? It's super crazy and I don't know, it, it was really cool. It was like, whoa, what are the odds of that? We're like talking to him and his friend and they move closer to us. They seem super cool. He's like definitely, definitely flirting with me. I don't know, like we're all talking but like he's looking right at me and like only really addressing me and like just being very flirty. If he's someone that is friends with my sister, I just assume like he's like a good person. He's a chill person. Obviously talking to him, not just because like he's a follower and I think it's really cool that like to meet someone but like we probably would have had the same conversation otherwise. It gets to be like three o'clock. My sister parked across the street at this lot which was like one hour parking. So we, when we got there at two, we were like, okay, we have to go back and like feed the meter or whatever it was. And I'm like, I'll go with you. So we stand up to like shimmy across all the people. I get past like the last person and my sister like turns around to talk to someone. Our waitress comes with our drinks. And so I take the drinks from her and I give my sisters to her and we like go to set them down. Her girlfriend was like, oh my gosh, can I try my little pony? Like, it looks so good. She's like, yeah, you can try it. Someone else is like, "Which? what is that one to the drink that I got, which was literally just like straight up tequila i swear it was so strong it was supposed to be like tequila and grapefruit and lime i think i'm like oh it's like tequila grapefruit lime like you can try it only a little bit because like that was fucking 17 dollars okay bitch and i'm paying for both of them we go down to pay for the car we come back up also like weird thing one of the guys at the like one of the doormen at the bottom of the hotel like two doormen that we had to go through and then a security dude every time we would go up and down he was just like staring at me and like smiling at me i mean i noticed this because like i was kind of looking at him too he was attractive but like he was mostly just just like very interesting looking he kind of looked like a ken doll no he he very much looked like a ken doll so i was just like looking at him like wow this guy has like a very nice like interesting face and i noticed that he was literally like staring right at me and like looking me up and down and stuff keep that in mind so we come back and we sit down back at our couch and we try our drinks super fucking strong there's definitely been like a drink or two taken out of mine and my sister's when we get back like i said the two guys alejandro and friend had been like on the same couch as us but like a little bit farther away we get back and alejandro Alejandro was now sitting like next to where I was sitting before ended up being like Alejandro me because I was on the end and then my sister like mm, very strategic right we're there for probably two or three minutes before I just realized you're probably wondering like what the hell does this have to do with the story I got a bad feeling about this full circle bitch okay I'm drinking my very strong not very good drink hi card got full so i had to like <laughs> import everything and like i'm back again for the 900th time we're just now getting to the best part so like i'm gonna tell it but i'm gonna try to refrain from letting my adhd take over so he's like being super flirty with me he's even like putting his hand on like my thigh and like squeezing my thigh like squeezing my arm like just being super flirty and i was like it was fine i wasn't like uncomfortable like he was super attractive whatever suddenly I see. Walking past like the little entrance where like all the friends would walk in to be in our little corner. Walking right past that, I see two guys and you know how you can just tell, at least when you're a girl, you can tell when someone's like looking at you. I noticed that one of them is looking at me or like in a direction. I look over kind of like up and to my right and I see these two guys and the one looking at me is wearing a hat and sunglasses and I'm like, no, no, wait, no. And I'm, I, <sighs> I can't even tell you, like, I felt like I was looking at this guy for like 20 seconds. It was probably like three or four until I realized who it was. And then I spent another couple seconds like, no, 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 wait, is that him? As I'm like, wait, is this for real? I say out loud, I'm like, what? Like kind of quietly, but like, what? And we're looking at each other. I, I think he's wearing sunglasses. And my sister looks where I'm looking and goes, Stewie? Because remember, they've FaceTimed now. She knows what he looks like. We all know what's going on here. I can't tell you how weird it felt to see him there. Like, what are the odds? Yes, I'm in like the same city as him, but okay, like, are you kidding me? Los Angeles? <laughs> like, Los Angeles is fucking huge. It takes me like three hours to get some places. And just like at that time, like, when do I ever go out to a hotel bar on a Sunday? Like, just, okay, I don't even need to get into all the like, why that's so fucking weird, but it was weird. I'm kind of like frozen at this point. Like so many things are going through my head. First of all, I'm like, what the fuck are the odds? Like, is this even real right now? Is this even happening? Like, it's not often that you run into someone that you know, that you've been hooking up with. Like, maybe it is for other people, but like for the whole time I've been living here, except for like the past few months, I've been in a relationship. I haven't been out meeting like thousands of people. Like, it was just fucking weird, okay? <laughs> I'm fucking speechless and I'm like, and he's looking at us like, what the fuck? And I'm like, 
<laughs> and my sister's like, what are you doing here? And he's like, I live here. What are you doing here? And he looks at me. I actually told him we were both going up north. True, fair enough. You do live in this city, but like, I live so close to it too. And like, it's fucking whatever. I'm like, oh, like I didn't end up going. You know, I texted you back yesterday, but like you didn't reply. Like I, I could have told you that I, we didn't end up going. And it just really, to me, I don't know if this is what he thought, but to me, it really seemed like he probably thought like I made up the fact that I was going to be out of town because I didn't want to hang out with him. Then of course he runs into me at this hotel bar and I'm supposed to be eight hours away by car. I'm like, yeah, like I didn't end up going. <laughs> it just, it didn't sound convincing because it wasn't like, I said I was going home for Easter to see family. It wasn't like, oh yeah, I might like go to Vegas this weekend. And then like, oh psych, I didn't go. It was like, oh yeah, like didn't end up going last minute. It was just, that's going on in my head. There's just a lot going on. He's like, oh, like we have a table over there. You guys should come over and like say hi and meet some of my friends. And we're like, yeah, okay, we will. They were going to grab a drink and then go back. So he's like, yeah, just come over in a few minutes. And we're like, yeah, sure, for sure. They walk away and I'm just like, I can't believe that we just saw him. Like I cannot, no part of me believes that this is real right now. I told him that we were gonna be out of town and he wanted to hang out this weekend. And I told him I was gonna be out of town. My sister's just like dying laughing. Like this is so fucking funny. Shit always happens to me that like feels like a movie or just feels like anyone in like my personal life that hangs out with me regularly or not regularly can identify the fact that like whenever they hang out with me, weird shit is gonna happen. I'm not even kidding you. I am like, I am that person. I don't know who to compare compare myself to right now and I don't even know if this is a thing if weird shit's gonna happen it's gonna happen with me there so like do with that information would you please but usually I'm like looking back on things in hindsight and I'm like wow that's so fucking crazy like what is my life but in this moment I had like a day's worth of thoughts in five seconds and it seemed like a freaking movie the Truman Show but Annalise it seemed like the Annalise show it seemed like everyone's just an actor and of course they would show up there Duh. We keep sitting there drinking and I'm still talking to Alejandro. We're planning on going over to the table in a few minutes and saying hi, but we're both like having our own conversations. Um, mind you, Alejandro was like putting his hand on my thigh, like we were being flirty and like I'm making eye contact with Stewie. He sees that we're with like a lot of people and so it's pretty clear that I'm not just like there alone on a date. I can only imagine, like it probably just seemed like I said I didn't want to hang out with him because like I was going to be here with friends but also like with this guy. <laughs> I digress. I guess it's been probably like 15 20 minutes and I get a text from Stewie and he's like come on over I tell my sister like let's go over there He just texted me to go over there and we bring our drinks over there too Meanwhile, I'm still texting William and he lets me know that he's like about to be done He's saying that he can come here to where we are either chill for a second and then go or just pick me up and go And so now all of a sudden I'm like fuck as if it wasn't already like fuck enough I'm like Stewie just saw me with Alejandro Alejandro is a follower of mine who knew my sister. Does everyone just fucking know my sister before I know them? Like what's going on here? It's like the story of my life like in high school. Every teacher already knew me. All the older kids like already knew my family. Can I just be my own person for once? And I'm like, great. If William comes here and he's like hanging out for a second before we go and I leave with him and Stewie sees this, but I was also here with Alejandro when he got here, he's going to think, I don't know what he's gonna think. He's probably gonna think I'm a fucking crazy hoe. I'm not, I don't think I am. So it just so happened that like this all coincided on the same day that I thought I was just gonna be going to an Easter brunch with my sister and her friends. And then I ended up in a love triangle, actually a love square. <laughs> kind of like holding off on replying to him because I'm like, okay, like maybe I'll have him pick me up like down at the parking lot. And so we go over there and we meet his friends. His friends are really fucking cool, by the way. Like honestly kind of bummed I didn't like get their information because they were all like so funny, just like so cool, so chill, honestly cooler than him. No, I'm just kidding. I think I just thought that because I don't know I was just having like weird feelings about this guy at the time not like bad feelings But like I never really like liked him like he was super cool. Don't get me wrong He was super cool. We obviously hooked up and stuff and like had a good time like a really dope person I don't think I ever had feelings for him of that sort like I don't know why for whatever reason Seems like I should but like what does that even mean like on paper? It seemed like I should then my sister has to leave again to go pay for her car again You can just stay here I'll be right back. And so she leaves. It had actually been like me and then her and then Stewie. She was actually sitting next to him, not me, just cause that's how it ended up when we walked over there. So she leaves and now I'm next to him. And he's like, so you didn't end up going back home? Like weird. And I'm like, well, yeah, like you texted me safe travels. And then like, I replied to you, like I could have told you I didn't end up going, but I figured like it didn't really matter. Cause like you already had plans this weekend. And like, then he starts asking about Alejandro and he's like, are these like all your friends? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, they're actually like, all my sister's friends it's one of her friends birthdays and she knows a lot of 
most of the people over there. Obviously, I met them today, but like I didn't know them before or anything. And he's like, oh, like the guy next to you, it seemed like you knew him. And I was like, no, actually, like, funny story. He got here and he knows my sister. He's a friend of hers. They probably hung out like three or four times, but I think probably like always in like a group setting type thing. I didn't say that to him, but just like so you guys know. They weren't like super close friends. Otherwise, I think he would have made the connection way sooner. They both would have. And I'm like, no, actually, like, he was a friend of my sister's. When he showed up, he like knew me and he recognized me. And it turns out that he like just like had followed me on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. So I was like talking to him, you know, being nice to him. And like, he's really cool and he followed me. So we were just like having a discussion, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, he sees him like putting his hand on my leg squeezing it and he's like oh wow like you're so famous and i'm like no i'm not but like you literally asked me <laughs> literally asked me about him and that's how we were talking also around the time that my sister was down paying for her car yeah i think it i don't think she was there at this time but i started feeling like just not well like dizzy and nauseous but mind you that whole week before i had been feeling so sick and i was vlogging about it and i talked about it and then i woke up on easter and i felt really good i felt like like i had, i was literally so sick on friday and saturday go watch that vlog or go if you don't I don't know why I'm like needing to prove that like I was just I just felt sick and then I woke up Sunday and I felt really good like still my stomach felt kind of off but like mostly better I'm starting to feel like kind of sickish again and I'm just thinking like fuck like I probably wasn't all the way better I, I never really knew like what was wrong with me at the time like if I had a bug if it was just like related to like my period somehow even though I wasn't on my period I don't know I have health problems you know like I just figured I thought it might be like an IBS flare-up I didn't know so I'm sitting there drinking and my thought is like okay well this flare up or whatever it is started the Thursday before this which was the day after I was drinking I had been drinking this day on Sunday and I'm like maybe just all of a sudden alcohol is like causing me to have a bad reaction and I'm I was better because it had been a few days and I'm drinking again and I like reactivated it not like necessarily sick but like kind of like the same dizzy that I had been feeling and like nauseous I hope this doesn't have to do with alcohol like I I don't know I thought I was just sick whatever and this is just like in my head and it's only just starting I'm not feeling like super fucking sick i'm just like kind of getting a little weird feeling stewie then gets up to go pee he uses some weird euphemism about his molars floating i think that's what it was my molars are floating and literally me and all of his friends were just like looking at each other <laughs> it was literally out of a movie we were just looking at each other like i look at stewie and i'm like are you 67 years old? Like, what does that even mean? I've never heard that before. None of his friends who are all his age, like early 30s, <laughs> know what that means. And he's like, I'll just be right back. My molars are floating. When he came back, he ended up telling us like, yeah, it means you have to go pee. You've never heard that before? And I'm like, why would your mouth fill up with pee? And why would your molars fall out? I don't know. I don't get it. So he's gone peeing and I'm talking to his friends while Stewie's gone. Guess who comes back, bitch? Alejandro. Alejandro. Walks over from our like VIP corner over to where Stewie's table is where I'm now sitting and sits right where Stewie was sitting before he got up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's gonna come back. He's like, hey, you, you just said you're gonna go say hi to a friend. Like, where have you been? He has an accent, by the way, but I'm not gonna do it. You said you're gonna say hi to your friend. Where have you, where have you been? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm still like over here. Like, he just went to the bathroom and I'll probably like come back over when he gets back or whatever. And he asked me if I want another drink. I have my drink over here and it's like on the little table in front of me. And it has like probably this much left, not very much, and like ice. So pretty much gone. Do you want another drink? Like, what, what happened to your other drink? Did you finish that drink? Like, did you give it to someone else? Did you finish it? And I'm like, oh, it's like right Right there like I pretty much finished all of it it was really strong and like you know it's a Sunday I'm trying to chill he's like so you sure you don't want another one and I'm like I'm sure and he's like basically what I want you to realize is that he's like putting a lot of emphasis on my drink asking me if I finished it like asking me if I want another one blah 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 and again this is a quick little back and forth maybe a minute long he puts his hand on my thigh like up above my knee and is like squeezing it and like I don't know if that's just a cultural thing because also I got to kiss everyone on the cheeks when I met them which was super cool <laughs> yeah and he's just you know he's being very like touchy and like close to me and like flirting and stuff like that of course I knew this was gonna happen also I'm wondering what Stewie's friends are thinking because I'm pretty sure that like they had been like briefed on who I was before we came over because otherwise I don't know he probably was just like yeah this is the girl like we went on a date and then like hooked up I, d I don't know what he told them but like I'm assuming they knew that is how I knew Stewie I'm assuming he wasn't just like oh a friend i don't know i'm like what are, i wonder what they're thinking they're probably like weren't you looking up with our friend like who is this dude guess who comes back guess whose molars stopped floating or fucking sank to the bottom i don't know stewie comes back 
and someone's in his seat and someone is like squeezing my thigh and being super flirty. I only know he comes back because one of his friends like who was sitting across and I could see him was like, I don't know, he said something to him. Something that I don't know what they were talking about. Something unrelated. He was like, yo, like, he asked him a question or something. I don't remember, but that's how I knew that, like, there was someone behind me. And so I look at Alejandro and I'm like, dude, get up. That's my friend. Like, I'll be back over there in a bit. Like, we'll continue more conversation later. Basically just like, hey, that's my friend. Like, get the fuck out of here. After he explains to us what he meant by the whole molar thing, which we still don't get, he asks me again about this dude and he's like, so, like, are you guys friends? Like, I'm confused. And I'm like, no, I told you, like, he just literally just met today, like, an hour ago. And he's like, well, why'd he come over here? And I'm like, well, cause he was asking me like if I wanted him to order me another drink and stuff. Just like, okay, it's getting a little handsy there. All right, so skipping forward cause I'm taking forever to tell this. My sister's like, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to, or do you wanna go back to the birthday boy's house? He's gonna have like most of the people come back to his house and they're gonna like do whatever. Yeah, like we'll talk about it. Um, I'm gonna say bye to Stewie or whatever. So I actually didn't even end up going back to our little corner ever because everyone kind of like was leaving and then like we left. We say bye to him. I say bye to all his friends. And then like he gives me a hug bye. And he's like, will I see you this week or something like that? And I'm like, yeah, let's hang out this week. By the way, I have not spoken since that this last exchange, which it was only two weeks ago. It was two weeks ago exactly, actually. Um, but yeah, we never talked <laughs> since then. And I think it might have something to do with like the Alejandro situation because his I feel like he thought something was going on there. I don't really know. I do know that he like liked me, wasn't really interested in just like hooking up. So we get in the elevator, go down and we're walking outside and we're talking about like, she's like, do you want to go? Like, we don't have to. I kind of want to just like go home and get stuff done. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm actually going to meet up with my friend William who like she knows about. He was going to come here, but then I didn't reply to him. So, so we're kind of talking about it and how we're probably not going to go or whatever. We get like outside and like a bunch of our friends are in like a few groups. Up behind us comes Alejandro. He is like looking pissed and like looking back, looking behind him. He like kind of like runs up behind us like as if to catch up with us, but doesn't say anything to us. He's like looking behind him, looking looking nowhere, looking behind him, looking forward, like angry, like muttering angry words in French. <laughs> I don't know. He's just like visibly pissed and he's doing it like right next to us. And so I'm like, what's wrong? Like <laughs> you just ran up to us and started speaking angry French. What's wrong? That disgusting doorman. Cause we had just like walked out of the door. The same doorman, Ken doll, that disgusting doorman. I was watching him and he looked, he was staring at your ass for the longest time when you walked past him. And he was looking at you when you're walking up. And then when you walked by, he, I saw his eyes go to your ass and I wanted to just go punch him in the face and I'm like okay I would expect this reaction from my ex but like it seemed very odd for a follower who I just met to be so like possessive of me and so like angry that someone like had the audacity to look at me we stop and we're all three talking and he's like so you guys are coming right another one of the friends walks up and is talking to my sister and she's like I don't know I think I have to go home because my cat and like blah 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 and he's like well looking at me he's like well are you gonna go like why don't you still go and i'm like well she drove me here and like you know we don't have a car here whatever and he's like just come with us like you can come with me i drove he drove him and his friend i'm like well i might actually be meeting up with someone i might be busy i might have to do this or that i don't know what i said um also i'm feeling so nauseous at this point and i'm like wearing these heel boots and i'm feeling like i just like want to sit down because i'm like getting like kind of wobbly he's like just go just go like and i'm like well let me go home first and then like i could always get my car and come which i knew i wasn't gonna do but like i just wanted him to stop <laughs> he's like okay like give me your number so that i can so we can keep in contact or whatever and my sister's like uh no like you don't just ask my sister like before i even have a chance to respond she's like don't ask her for her number like you follow her on instagram you can dm her like you could have dm'd her at any point you can dm her blah 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 like she doesn't just give her number out to anyone <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you can DM me. It's fine. So then we walk over to my sister's car. We get in and we're like, yeah, we're not going to go. She's like, I'll take you home, whatever. The first thing I guess I'll mention is that when I sat down in the car, you know how sometimes when you drink, you're drinking like a lot or you have like a few shots at once and you're fine. And then like suddenly you sit down for a second and it like all hits you and you're just like, whoa, like I didn't even hit me until I sat down. I had that same feeling when I sat in the car, but not with like, I'm drunk. I had the feeling that, <sighs> okay, well, I guess let's just get into the final ending of the story and I'll just say it. So I had, oh, I'm armless. Doesn't it, it not look like I don't have an arm? I sit down and I feel like the same way that I have felt, I've been roofied two times. Once in college, once after college. Well, I don't know if the second time was roofies or something else. 
I don't really even know. So I've been drugged, starting to feel so, so bad. And like, just it's such a familiar feeling to me. And I think like, it's kind of hard to explain, but like if you have been roofied, which I fucking hope none of you have, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not like sick. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. I guess it doesn't really matter. But it also felt similar to how I was feeling like the week before when I was sick. But once I got in the car, it was like a whole new level of like, fuck. Also in the car, I get a DM from Alejandro and he's like sending us the address and he's like, please come, please come. Can you just give me your number or whatever? Like, please come, like really wanting me to come. My sister had planned on coming into my apartment with me when she dropped me off to like see Bug and hang out for just a while, like a little bit before going home. But when she dropped me off, she was like, holy shit, like I do not feel good. I need to go home. I feel like I'm like going to like shit my pants. Like I'm just gonna go home and like lay down. And I'm like, yeah, I don't feel good either. But like, I haven't been feeling good. I don't know. <laughs> right when I get into my apartment, I even remember like my mattress didn't have any sheets on it cause they had just been taken out of the dryer before I left. So they were just like thrown on top of my mattress. I get into my apartment. I'm like, I need to lay down or something. Like I need to just like, I don't know, like you just, you feel so bad that you like don't know what to do and I was just like I just need to lay down so I like started to like take my clothes off I was wearing like jeans like long like Bermuda jean shorts and I wasn't gonna lay down in them so I like unbuttoned them unzipped them and like took them off like to my ankles took off one boot before literally just like passing out on my bed like just I don't know like I don't know <laughs> when I came to I came to like a couple hours later I still felt it i still felt the way that i was feeling i actually woke up to bug like biting my nose and my i have literally one red boot on my foot still have my top on still have like my tiny little sunglasses like crooked on my head my shorts like at my ankles and one freaking boot and i i woke up like on my face too holy shit at that point like i knew i knew that i was fucked with i knew that i was roofied of course in hindsight like everything's clearer the next day i really felt it not the same feeling but like sort of like that hungover but not hungover feeling i don't know it's hard to explain what it feels like to be honest but that night i was thinking about like all the things that it could be and i didn't want to text my sister because i i just i felt weird because i thought and i still think and i'm actually pretty certain based on what i'll tell you in a second that alejandro while we were down paying for my sister's car put something in my drink i don't think they put it in her drink i think that he tried my drink put something in it i drink almost all of it my sister had like two drinks of it and then it, i'm putting this all together in my head like in hindsight i thought about the fact that when i was talking with stewie and his friends he came over and he was very like it seemed like his main mission in like coming over was like to check up on my drink at the time i wasn't like this is weird like what happened to that drink you were drinking did you finish it do you want me to get you another one where did that drink go did you give it to someone like did you finish it it was apparent at the time that like he really wanted me to go to this dude's house afterwards and hang out with them but like that's not the weirdest thing ever like like someone if you're into them or even if you just think they're cool like of course you're gonna want them to like come hang out with you it's not weird in and of itself and really none of the things are weird in and of themselves it's when they all come together sort of that it's like Oh, yeah, he was just very insistent on making sure that I went there, asking for my number, even DMing me, even being like, I'll drive you. Even my sister being like, he really wanted you to go, like, he must be super into you. And I'm like, he just follows me, he probably just thinks it's cool, like, I think it would be cool to, whatever. You know, thank you back, it's like, yeah, he probably wanted me to go because he had done that. I don't think I need to say anything more about that. Okay, so now when I wake up from being out and I'm putting all this together in my head and I'm like, what the fuck, like, I went through, like, my own little process. <laughs> which I don't need to get into because this video is so fucking long, I feel. I've been talking for like three hours. I text William, <laughs> remember him? And I'm like, hey, sorry, I was roofied. <laughs> and he's like, are you okay? No, I talked to him later about it and everything. I wanna text my sister or call her and ask her like how she's feeling, but it's like 11 o'clock at this point and I'm like, I'm gonna call her in the morning, see how she's doing, tell her like what I think happened and ask her like if she thinks that's a possibility, but also like that doesn't really matter as much because there's always like, oh, like the, the rapist you ask, anyone in his life and they're like oh he was a good guy like he would never do that or like anyone that commits a crime everyone that knows them is like no he, he literally wouldn't do that but like so that doesn't really matter as much but like do, how do you feel after yesterday so i text her in the morning i go about my day the next day and i'm feeling terrible the next day and it's just like only solidified the fact that i was roofied because i know how it fucking feels when it's happening or before it happens when it's happening well maybe not so much you don't like remember what happens thank god i was literally in my apartment um and then afterwards it's the same feeling like the whole next day it's like a weird kind of hangover but like whatever i just know the feeling so the next day i was only like more convinced that like yeah that sucks and this happened and so at 4 30 p.m my sister texts me and she's like holy shit annie i just woke up 
I passed out at like 8 o'clock last night, like an hour after she had gotten home. She just woke up at 4.30 p.m. My sister wakes up at like 7 and goes to yoga and like has like has her whole day. She works, she does whatever. Like I think she had the day off luckily, but she, she didn't wake up till 4 30 p.m. and I had texted her what I texted her in the morning was like oh my gosh I was so like sick and out of it and I feel like shit today like blah 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 I didn't say I was roofied yet I wanted to talk to her first she replies to me she's like holy shit just woke up I literally came home and passed out I tried to wake up at like 2 and at 3 but I had no energy in my body I felt lifeless like I felt like the life was sucked out of me I felt so weird and bad I don't know what's going on but like I'm getting up now and it's 4 30 so at that point I'm like shit text her back and I'm like look this is what I think happened I'm like 99% positive that this is what happened and honestly I was kind of nervous about telling her before she told me that she was feeling like that because I didn't want her to be like, oh my god, like, no, that's my friend, like, you, whatever. No, I'm not on the toilet right now, what the fuck. Um, I just wanted to clarify, I wasn't scared of telling her because I thought she was, like, actually gonna get mad at me or anything. And, like, nothing on her. I have such a past and history of people kind of doing that to me and, like, the whole, not really, like, victim blaming, but, like, I just was scared and I don't- it had nothing to do with her as a person. It was just like, that's how I was thinking because of things that have happened to me before. So, yeah. But once she told me that and it was super out of character and super like, okay, like I felt comfortable being like, hey, I'm pretty sure this is what happened. She drank probably not too much of my drink, pro maybe three ounces of it, but she had her drink too, which I think was fine. I think, maybe not, maybe not, honestly. We, yeah, I don't know, we kind of talked about that, and I don't need to get into, like, what happened after that, but, like, <sighs> yeah. Is that the end? Can that please be the end? It's so funny, this started out as my date story time, and then it ended up as, you know, still running into my date again, but also getting roofied by a follower. Part one was our first date. Part two was our second hookup, Squatty Potty, the ponytail. I'm running into him at a fucking random-ass hotel bar on Easter when he had told him I was gonna be out of town and he thought I was there with this other guy who was actually just following me and I was supposed to be meeting up with William. Then I got fucking roofied by this guy who was following me. I don't even know how to wrap this up. Like there's no way. I already know my life is a movie. I already know none of you guys are real. You're all actors. So just let me live peacefully, please, because I don't want this for my life anymore. <laughs> But yes, thank you for watching. If you want more story times, genuinely mean this, let me know because I do have a lot. As you can maybe tell, it's hard for me to sit down and do them and not have it take up literally my whole day and then to edit them. And I get really anxious because I'm like, fuck, like I'm not gonna be able to sit down and just tell the story because I'm all over the place in my mind. But if you like them, like I wanna keep doing them and I wanna get better at like sticking to the storyline. That is it. Blocked him on Instagram, by the way. Not my date, um, Alejandro. Still haven't talked to Stewie, so. I'll let you know. Subscribe!